This is a simple header for navigation. But when the screen size changes, there is an overflow. So instead of placing all the options side by side, I introduced a hamburger menu with some of the options placed in it. And when the screen size is reduced, all the options are moved into the menu, which will become an ultimate responsive menu. And you can do it too. For that, you start by creating a menu element, inside which add an image for logo. We will add the source later. We can see the image element here. Then add an element for the right half of the menu. Inside that add anchor tags for options, with class name as head. We can see the link tags here. Next add a toggle button, for toggling the menu on and off. Here is an empty button. Then add an icon inside the button. Below the right element, add a sub-menu element for the hamburger menu. Inside which add anchor tags for options, with class name as option. We can see the link tags here. I have changed the background color to yellow, for better visualization. This is the entire HTML structure, now we will style it. Start by styling the menu element by setting its width to 100%, height to fit content, and background to white, then align its children to side by side, by setting its display to flex and justify content to space between. Then set a padding of 10 pixels, and make sure to set box sizing to border box, so that padding does not overflow. Finally set a box shadow and border radius as shown. Next I added the source for the logo. Then set the width of the logo. Next style the right element, by setting its children at the center using display flex. Next style the head link tags by setting their text decoration to none, set its font properties, and set a margin of 20 pixels to left and right. We can add a simple hover effect. For that, when the head element is hovered, set the solid border at the bottom, and change the background color and text color. Next style the toggle button, by setting its width and height to 40 pixels and border radius to 50%. Then remove the background and border, align the icon to the center using display flex, finally set cursor to pointer. We can add a hover effect, for that when the button is hovered set the background and icon color. Next style the sub menu by setting its position to absolute at top 55 pixels and right 10 pixels. We can see that the sub-menu is relative to the body instead of the menu element. Fix it by setting position relative for the menu element. Now we can see the link tags here, then set the width and height of the menu. Then align the links below one another by setting display flex and flex direction to column. Next apply background and border radius to it, provide a padding at top and bottom. Finally set a box shadow as shown. Then style the option link tags by setting the width to 100% and font properties as shown. Then apply a padding at top and bottom only. We can add a hover effect, for that when the option is hovered change the background and text color. Next we will make the menu toggle. For that, when the toggle button is clicked then menu should open, and when clicked anywhere else the menu should be closed. Start by declaring a sub-menu variable, targeting the sub-menu element. Then add an event listener for the window to detect the click event. If the click is on the toggle button, then set the submenu element's display to flex, else hide the submenu element. We can see the submenu is visible when the toggle button is clicked, and hidden when clicked anywhere else. Then set display none by default for the submenu element. I have moved the header to the top. We can see the overflow being formed when the screen is resized, so we need to make it responsive. For that, copy all the head link tags inside the right element and paste them inside the sub-menu element. Change the class name from head to sub. Then apply the same styling as of the option link tags for the sub-elements. We can see the same links inside the sub-menu element. Hide these sub-link elements by default. When the screen width is less than 450 pixels, hide the head link elements and set the display to block for the sublink element. Now we can see when the screen width is smaller, all the options are visible inside the submenu only. If you find this tutorial valuable then subscribe to the channel.